Welcome to this presentation called Your French Ancestors via French Private Societies. This lecture was delivered on Saturday the 3rd of March 2018 at Roots Tech in Salt Lake City. There are three types of private organizations specialized in genealogy. They all use free records provided by French public institutions. Altogether, they form a genealogical three-leaf clover, which is composed in chronological order of non-profit societies, commercial companies and internet social groups. The non-profit societies have to abide by a specific law introduced in 1905 in France. You have to be a member of the society, which means that you're democratically responsible for the society's policy. You normally pay yearly fees to sustain the society. The commercial companies must abide by other rules concerning trade and business. You're not a member of those companies, but a subscriber, a client, a patron. You can get some free information, but you have to pay for the major services. And last, the internet social groups with no specific regulation attached to them, apart from the general laws concerning the whole population. You're neither a member nor a subscriber of the group, but a mere unattached user with no specific rights. You never pay anything for the help you can get within the group. Let's start in chronological order with the non-profit genealogical societies. They all produce and distribute genealogical data. There are two types of societies in France. First of all, the federate societies. They decided to be members of the French Federation of Genealogy, settled now in Pantin near Paris. And then the unattached societies. They decided to keep outside of the French Federation of Genealogy. Well, a few words about the unattached genealogical societies. On the map of France here, you can see the green areas where those isolated societies were. In Alsace, Lorraine and Champagne in the east of France, in Languedoc and midi pyrenees in the south of France, and in the French counties of Aisne, Sartre and Ardèche. This is anyway the situation in 2018. Here is an example of an unattached society. It is called Cercle Généalogique de Languedoc, which means Genealogical Society of Languedoc. You can see here the internet address of its website and one page of it where you can access the database if you are a member of the society. The great majority of genealogical societies in France, though, decided to join the French Federation of Genealogy, called Fédération Française de Généalogie in French. The Federation was founded in 1968 and organises one national meeting per year and one national congress each uneven year, and it publishes 10 federal newsletters a year. It was composed in 2018 of 44 national societies grouped in four federal colleges and 112 local societies grouped in 22 federal unions. The National Family History Societies within the French Federation of Genealogy deal with specific subjects in the whole country. First of all, the origin of your ancestors, for instance, Italians or Spaniards who settled in France, their faith if they were Jews or Protestants, their occupation if they worked in banks or for railway companies, their name, for instance, the Dervilliers or Mustins, or internet and computer services, for instance, societies called Ginia Bank and France Gen Web. Let me give you two examples of national family history societies. The first one is a society called Ancêtres Italiens, which means Italian ancestors. You can see here the internet address of its website, open on a specific page concerning the Invalids Hospital in Paris. This hospital was founded on the 24th of February 1670 by King Louis XIV, the Sun King, in order to sustain the old veterans of the French armies. The Society Ancêtres Italiens created a comprehensive database of all the veterans who were sustained at the Invalids Hospital. You can find foreigners among them, like Italians, for example. The second national society I would like to present now is called Genia Bank. It is a non-profit online bank covering most parts of France, where you can find genealogical data produced by many other societies within the French Federation of Genealogy. You have to be a member of one of those societies to access the database. 
The majority of members of the French Federation of Genealogy are local family history societies. The first ones were founded mostly in 1978 and were based on old French provinces like Alsace and Brittany. But later on, new societies were created in each French county around the various public county archives in France. Some societies, though, were created in smaller areas like districts and municipalities. The main achievement of all those local family history societies is the collective work they have been organising for over 35 years with their members' help. Thanks to them, you can enjoy now extensive marriage indexes in each county covering the whole country, and those indexes are now accessible online on national websites like Genia Bank, for instance, or on local websites created by those local societies. This is very useful for genealogists. Let me give you one example of a local family history society within the French Federation of Genealogy. It is called Société Généalogique de Yonne, which means Genealogical Society of Yonne, and it covers the whole French county of Yonne in northern Burgundy. I am the current chairman of this society. Its motto is Nous gravissons le temps, which means We ascend time. The Genealogical Society of Yon was founded on the 17th of July 1981. It had 792 members in 2004, but only 388 in 2016 and 425 in 2017. It publishes every year four issues of its periodical called Genia 89, and its database contains up to 550,000 marriage entries, where you can find up to 2 million ancestors who lived and married in northern Burgundy. This huge local database is accessible by the members of the society on two different websites. First of all, on the society's own website on the left, and second, on a French national website called Genial on the right, in a special subdivision called Clericus. You can see on the top of this page the internet address of the society's own website, and at the bottom, the internet address of Genial. The Genealogical Society of Yon is a member of the Genealogical Union of Burgundy within the French Federation of Genealogy. The union was founded in 1979 and covers three counties, namely Yon, Côte d'Or and saône loire with two societies in Côte d'Or. Unfortunately, most of the family history societies in France have less and less members every year. You can see here a synoptic table showing the evolution of membership in the four societies of the Genealogical Union of Burgundy from the year 2000 to the year 2017. This general decline almost everywhere in France is due to the fact that Internet users can find now public archives online for free. They don't use anymore our extensive indexes and don't want to participate anymore in organised collective works. Individualism prevails now. Now, let's talk about the second leaf of our three-leaf genealogical clover. The various commercial companies can be subdivided into four major categories. First of all, the French online data distributors like Triatel, Fidey.com, Genia.net, Heredis Online and Geniatique.net. Then software developers like Heredis, Geniatique, Gayo Perso and Filiatis. Then family history publishers and last, professional genealogists. The first commercial company I want to present is Tritel, because it worked for many years for the French Federation of Genealogy and its member societies, setting for them their local genealogical data in a huge national website called Biginet. This website disappeared, though, in the beginning of 2019. But Tritel still runs two websites. First of all, a website called Copedia, showing the surviving family lines descending from King William the Conqueror. You have to pay to get extensive information about them. And then a second website called Genial, showing the data provided by various genealogical societies with an extension called Clericus for data provided by their members. You have to be a member of a society to use Clericus. Here is the home page of Copedia and its internet address. You can see here the beginning of the ascending tree of the French King Louis XIV, called the Sun King, one of the many descendants of William the Conqueror. 
Apart from Copedia and Ginuel, you have four major French websites showing data provided by both societies and individuals. Two commercial companies called Heredis and Geniatic opened their own websites, namely Heredis Online and Geniatic.net, but those two societies are primarily software developers specialised in genealogy. The most powerful commercial companies in France at the moment are Filey.com and Genionet. They are specialised in massive distribution of genealogical data and do not develop any personal software like the preceding two companies. Here are the home pages of the websites run by the four commercial companies I've just been speaking about. At the top, you can see Heredis Online on the left and Geniatic.net on the right. And at the bottom, you can see Ginianet on the left and Finally.com on the right. You can see too the respective internet addresses of the four companies. An article was published a couple of years ago in France comparing the major data distributors of the time, namely the federate non-profit society called Genia Bank on the one hand, and the three commercial companies called Biginet, Finely.com and Ginianet on the other hand. The last two distributors didn't declare clear ciphers which can vary in time to a large extent up to billions of online entries. Ciphers, in fact, don't mean anything. The first two distributors showed, and one still shows, exclusively data provided by federate genealogical societies. On the contrary, the last two distributors show data provided by both genealogical societies and numerous individuals who upload repeatedly the very same data already online. There is no synthesis of the data provided by the individuals, and the same information can appear many times. The second type of commercial companies specialise in genealogy is the one pertaining to personal software developers. The major software products in France are Heredis, Geniatic, Gayo Perso and Filiatus. The first two are the more widespread ones in the country, by far, but the other two are quite good as well. Gayo Perso, for instance, has the largest memory capacity you can find in personal software in both Europe and America. And Filiatus is the very first software in France that put the stress on creating good text in French telling the story of your ancestors, ready to be published in a book or an article. You can find Filiatus now in Heredis, and a derived application in French and English has been created too, called Patronomia, which was presented at Roostec 2018 in Salt Lake City. Here is the home page in English of Patronomia, and the internet address of this French application. It enables you to write and publish a family history book in French, English or even Dutch, produced out of a mere JetCom file of your ancestry. Apart from online data distributors and software developers, there are some French commercial companies selling books and periodicals on genealogy. You can buy them online if you want. The major two family history periodicals in France are La Revue Française de Généalogie and Généalogie Magazine. The main bookshops are Safroy and Le Voute, and the main publishers Christian, Pfizer and Archives and Culture. Of course, the greatest problem you may have with the French archives, the French genealogical societies and the French commercial companies specialised in genealogy is the language. We know that few of you can speak French properly enough to enjoy the richness of the numerous data provided by those French institutions and organisations. So, why not choose a French professional genealogist who could do the work for you and send reports in English to you? On the next page, I will show you addresses where you can find French professional genealogists. But before that, I would like to indicate to those of you who can understand French properly enough that you can view videos in French on genealogy provided by a French genealogist named Elise Lenoble and by a commercial company called Archives and Culture. Here is a first group of 38 French professional genealogists who joined a professional union called Union Professionnelle de Généalogistes. You can see at the bottom the internet address of the union's website. There is a second group of French professional genealogists who joined another union called Union des Généalogistes de France. They have a website too. You can see on this page its internet address. 
Here comes now the third and last leaf of our three-leaf genealogical clover, namely internet social groups. They flourish at the moment on Facebook and participate in the growth of individualism in our present-day worldwide civilization. Those internet social groups specialize in genealogy do not organize any collective work on a large scale, unlike all the family history societies and some commercial companies. In fact, they just provide petty information on small details in individuals' personal family trees. Those who join those groups are mostly new searchers needing help, trying to avoid paying a society fee or a subscription. Many of them usually beg information from the few other users of the group who joined either a genealogical society or a commercial company. In brief, internet social groups are primarily informal online places where unattached individuals can socialize a bit without getting much information in return. But we can't deny that many people now prefer to join a free internet social group rather than pay anything to boost their research. So, here is one of the numerous internet social groups that you can find in France now. You can see here its internet address. It is called Genealogie Entraide, which means genealogical mutual help, and seems to be quite popular because it welcomes up to 3,400 users. Well, sorry, this is the end. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for your applause. Is there any question? I suppose not. So, farewell and take care of yourselves.